you know when you are afraid and fear occupies your mind, the following thoughts, uh, whether it has happened or not, whether it's even reasonable or not, will always somehow be negative when you are not ready for an exam and fear begins to creep into your heart and begins to fill your thoughts. Uh, what will be the next thoughts? You'll be like, sure, fail. I am sure the exam questions will come out that I did not study for. Sure, this and that which is negative, I won't pass. And if I don't pass, I won't be able to get into university and uh, I will get a good job. I mean, you're like, maybe even thinking 10, 20 years ahead, no? but you're always just expecting the worst. And it's all stemmed from fear that may not even be founded. Uh, let's just say you're afraid of the unknown, you're afraid of ghosts, let's say, let's say you know, you're afraid of the dark. Uh, same thing, your mind plays tricks. Your mind tells you and gives you even a nar narrative, uh, a story that you are cooking up. Uh, that's why sometimes we, we joke you know, in church and say, you know, a Korean drama uh, filled with tears is already playing in your mind. That's what fear does to you. It doesn't actually add anything good one. It doesn't add anything like, it, it doesn't kind of stop the movie and go like, hold on. But if you ever find that, that movie in your mind, that movie of negative and tears in your mind gets stopped for some sudden reason, it's only because faith suddenly appeared. Faith suddenly stepped in and said, hold on a minute, you're overthinking this. Hold on a minute, uh, God is good. Hold on a minute, you know, uh, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Some word, some truth, some light, some life, some courage, uh, some wisdom will suddenly step in and faith, when it steps in, will give you another perspective. And the perspective of faith is always going to be positive. It's always going to be, you know, it's not really working the way I want it to, but I think it's going to turn out okay. Even if I don't get A, I get B, I still believe that God can give me a good job. Because all I need to do is do my best. Try my best. Give my best. I believe that God will give me only the best. Uh, you know, but fear is the direct opposite. It just doesn't stop being negative, uh, causing us to expect uh, only the worst. Uh, when you have fear, uh, going on the plane, what do you expect? The plane, something wrong will happen to the plane. Just a little bit of turbulence and you go like, I'm going to die. Uh, but when you have faith, and I've seen people uh, read their magazine even in the midst of a turbulence because they're not afraid. They go like, ah, I've flown so many times already. Ah. This is normal. The faith in them goes, we'll land. We'll be alright. You know? So the faith that sometimes can come from experience also, can come from just knowledge of turbulence doesn't mean that the plane is going to go down. You see some people reading their magazine and their book and doing their work on the laptop and some people gripping the, their seat because fear will tell you that. That with every little shaking in life, the worst is about to happen. And I think it's very real, even in my own life. Uh, and when I was thinking about that and counselling people who were going through that, I, I like to open up their understanding to the fact that if they are constantly negative, uh, it should be and would be stemmed out of fear. And if I could help add faith into their life, maybe then that whole series or narrative or the way that movie is being played out in their minds, hopefully that could stop. Uh, so faith uh, expects uh, the best, uh, but fear is the opposite.